Okay, so this is part four of my Lenovo 320S uh, sort of testing of my wife's computer. Uh, I don't really use it, but I'm, I've used it for these videos because I'm really intrigued at how, how well it performs. Now, I've, uh, I've been out this morning. I'm just going to close that down. So I start from fresh and I've shot some JPEGs and some raw images, but I'll probably just concentrate on raw images uh, in this demo. So these are all raw images and if I click on them, they're 19.4 megabytes, whereas the JPEGs that I took, I, I took them in both formats, are about six. Uh, so it's about three times the size. And this means that if you're doing anything advanced on Photoshop, then obviously that's going to slow it down. The, the bigger the image size, the harder the computer's got to work. Uh, but my camera's a Canon 1100D, which you can see in the corner of the screen. Uh, it's three or four years old. Uh, it's only 12 megapixels, but because I'm shooting in RAW, it's bigger image, image sizes. Now, I wanted to mention, uh, before I start off on this, uh, there's come a few on the market now. You can get several computers with a 128 gig hard drive. Uh, or solid state drive or, or storage medium. Now, some of the new computers that are out there haven't got an SSD, even though they've got a 128 gig drive. Uh, they don't always put the letters after them, but basically if it's an EMMC drive, uh, which you can usually find by, I don't know, actually, I don't know what happens if I click on, what happens, what does mine say? So properties, hardware, well, it just says it's a Samsung drive. Um, now, yeah, I don't know where you find out if it's if it's an SSD, but what you could do is put that model number into Google uh, and find out what it is, and it will say if it's an EMMC drive or a SSD, and I know this one's an SSD. But basically what I'm saying is that if a computer's got an EMMC drive, I'm not saying don't buy it, uh, it should be a lot cheaper than an SSD. So if it's the same sort of price as this, this was £350, uh, and it's got the same spec, but it's got an EMMC drive, it is nowhere near the same deal. Uh, EMMC drives are a little bit faster than lots of physical drives, but they're not like an SSD. SSDs have great performance, and that's really what makes this computer uh, so good for the money uh, and so nice to use. So yeah, just avoid EMMC drives if you're paying SSD prices, um, but if the computer's hundred pound cheaper then you know that's that's a big difference um, there are some 32 and 64 gig EMMC drive computers on the market I'd avoid the 32s uh, just because you you have to look after them you really have to hold their hand because they when it comes to updates uh, and if you put you don't even have to have much on them we've got a little Acer and it's all right as a computer but uh, when it comes to updates you pretty much have to reformat it and uh, reinstall from the memory card um, there's lots of tips online as to how to to deal with it, but sometimes when the update's big, uh, it's just more trouble than it's worth. Um, and and you can also use uh, a USB stick, but I've also found problems with that as well. So so try and stick to 64 gig and above uh, SSD if you've got the budget. If you haven't, then an EMMC drive, uh, you know they're okay, uh, but but the 32s can be troublesome, especially if you're not into computers. If you want an easy life uh, and you just want the computer to look after itself go for at least 64 gig um, because the experience is just much better anyway mainly what I was doing this for is Photoshop so let's launch Photoshop now this is a seven day trial that I've downloaded uh, and I've had a little play around with it I don't really use Photoshop um, I, I enjoy photography but I don't normally shoot in RAW and I don't do an awful lot of manipulation. You know, sometimes I'll brighten a picture up or or do a little bit to it, but certainly nothing like the level that Photoshop can give me. So let's open up. I've played around with this one this morning. Uh, so I deliberately to our our post boxes around here have just been painted, and they look rather nice, uh, nice and bright. Uh, now if I play around, well, let's just, actually let's just open this image into the main Photoshop. Uh, and one of the hard things uh, for a computer to do would be to uh, remove an object because obviously if it's removing this lamppost on its own, uh, it's got to be aware of what's behind it. And there's grass, there's pavement, there's bricks, there's all sorts of things. So this would be 
would take ages. I mean, in the olden days, I I uh, had an image where I uh, the New York with the um, what is it the Empire State Building one with the, where the guys were all sitting having their lunch, and I took all the guys off uh, and put myself and my wife and my my son at the time, who was a little baby, uh, all on there. It doesn't look great, to be honest, so I'm not going to show it on here. Um, but it took me ages to do. Um, now, with this, if I select, uh, just use this. And I, obviously, I'm not taking a lot of time to do this. And double click. So, oh. <laughs> right, that wasn't great. Uh, so let's try that again. I'm trying to do this in one take, so I'll leave in all these sorts of bits. Oh, it's, it's obviously one click then. I, I thought you had to double click. Maybe if you close the close it, so you, you basically create a rectangle or whatever. Ah, one click, right. So now we've got to edit and fill. Content aware is already selected. I don't know what the other options are. Yeah, I don't know what any of those do. Uh, color adaptation is on. Let's just press OK and see what happens to that lamppost. Now this is hard work, um, so and it's only got four gig of RAM. So actually, that's moving quite fast. I, I've tried this on older versions. Oh look, I missed a bit here. Look, can you see that? Uh, so I wonder if I right click, deselect. Let's just do that little tiny bit and edit, fill, content aware. Oh no, we didn't get the bar come up then. Deselect. So that's pretty good. Like, uh, I mean, obviously the bricks have gone a bit strange. It would be better if you had things that are less uniform um, than that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's. I'm quite impressed with that. I mean, obviously it's going to be trickier for you to see as you're watching on uh, a camera recorded image. But let's get rid of this green box as well. Because again, there's quite a lot going on behind it, isn't there? Uh, edit, fill, okay. Deselect. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good, really. Um, now, I don't know how to zoom that well on here. So, screen mode, full screen mode, fit on screen, maybe? No. Let's view 200. Oh no, 200% is too big. Uh, oh, how do I get rid of that? Right, so view. Let's try it this way. Right click, fit on screen, and view screen mode, full screen mode. So I'm going to do don't show this again because that keeps popping up. So how do I zoom in? Yeah, so you can you can detect it there, but actually on I mean especially that green box, that tended to remove pretty pretty well really, um, and really I'm I'm just looking for performance here. I'm not really judging a dog because I I'm not I'm certainly no expert. I, as I say, this is the first time I've ever used this version. I think I used to use Photoshop Seven, uh, and it's changed a lot since then. So we'll leave that in the background and we'll get this image up, which. It's quite a dull day today, um, although to be fair it's quite sunny out there now, but when I went out um, it was rather dull when I was taking these images. Uh, now let's fit on screen uh, and let's play around with uh, levels. Now I suppose there's filters, image adjustments. Right, so hit levels and I always used to do this where you pull in these sides and it just makes it a bit more dynamic. Um, so let's hit OK on that. Uh, and then image color levels. Saturation. Oh, don't want to lighten it up. That looks terrible. Hue. Whoa. Well, let's move that away. That looks amazing. Uh, so you can see that it's doing all this in real time. That's really psychedelic. You almost want to record that. 
let's go back in the middle so we got more more like the originals but as you can see that that pops a lot more than it than it did um, and it, it wasn't painful to do you know this computer seems to cope very well with that I wish I knew more about what I could do on here but I think that proves that raw images uh, certainly on my 12 megapixel camera are usable and and it's really not slow uh, yeah I think that's really improved it so let's see how you go back boom, 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 boom. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing right so let's exit out of that anyway I won't bother saving oh file exit no no so let's close it down and let's just start it again just to see how quick that started up this bit I remember used to take ages on Photoshop 7 on my older computer and that's really fast um, and, and it's only been installed today uh, so yeah, I am impressed. I'm going to see, can we get rid of this uh, tin can? So again, in raw, around about a 20 megabyte file. Uh, oh, I say, I changed this earlier on and it's uh, it seems to be reverting back to the uh, image that has been adjusted. Uh, can I... So if I take everything back to around about the middle, does that give it more like... Mm, still, oh, whites is up high. Right, so let's open that image. And uh, I don't know if the tin can in, it spoils or enhances the image, but let's select the tin can. Do, do, do. Oh, that was a terrible click, the first one. Uh, do, do, do. Right, and edit. Bill. Sorry, this is all I can do on here, but I, I feel it's a good test because it's, it's the computer working hard to, to do this. So how well is it going to get rid of that tin? <laughs> oh, pretty well. So deselect. Yeah, that is good. I don't think I'd look at that picture and think um, that there was anything wrong with that. Uh, view... On screen should should get to know the uh, shortcuts really shouldn't I which obviously Photoshop people would yeah that that's clever very clever and I'm really working fast well while we've got Photoshop running in the background I see we've got the Xbox app running in the background I don't know what that is oh it's the creative cloud one let's launch word and Photoshop and edge and do a bit of multitasking like we did before. So, full screen. Uh, let's go back to Word. Go back to PowerPoint. So, we've got several things running here at the same time. Uh, as you can see, we've got Photoshop here. Uh, I could be looking for an image to put into Photoshop. Uh, so let's open something up. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? You know, I, I, to be honest, I've not, I haven't really used this computer apart from in the videos uh, and a little bit of web browsing. I generally use my Mac, which is an old 2010 Mac, which I'm happy with. But this is uh, great at multitasking. Um, there's loads open here at the moment. Four gig of RAM. Uh, obviously, it's it's the SSD that seems to make that difference. Plus the this Pentium processor is very much like the i3. Again, if you watch my video number one, I explain a bit more of that. Um, but uh, but yeah, no real problems. Someone asked me, it, I've, I've only uh, talked about the positives of the computer in past videos, and um, really, I, there's, there's not a lot of negatives. I mean, the, I guess if there's anything, the screen quality, if I'm being really picky, but it's a 350 pound laptop, so it shouldn't be, but the screen quality, uh, it's uh, it's it's not a very bright, vibrant screen uh, like on my 2010 Mac um, or my iPad or something like that. Um, but it is a very nice matte finish. So the plus point is that if you're working on it and you're doing lots of text-based uh, things, then it's great for that. For photography, I guess you maybe want something a bit bit more glossy, a bit more vibrant. Um, but uh, 
but really apart from that i haven't found any problem with it the battery life seems great uh, they quote seven hours and i've got it plugged in because i've been uh, doing all sorts of things this morning just to test this um but uh, but yeah really good so um i can't at the moment i can't think of anything else that um i can do on here uh oh, i did do minecraft um i put minecraft on here but i'm terrible at minecraft now i suppose i could do a little bit of that uh yeah, let's and let's leave everything else running in the background. Probably a bad decision, but uh, let's see how it does this with four gig. Remember that you know some Android phones have got six gig of RAM. I don't know quite what they do with six gig of RAM, but uh, iPhones have only got well, mine's only got two gig of RAM uh, and it's lightning fast. Um, so let's open this up. Will it be slower because we're doing all sorts of things at once? This is the uh, Windows 10 version of Minecraft. Now we had the old, uh, my kids were into Minecraft, uh, not as much now, well, I suppose my daughter still is. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the uh, Windows 10 store version. So if you bought one with a Mojang account before, then you can uh, click on it and get a code and then you can get it for Windows Store, which means it will get updates and it's very easy to reinstall. You don't have to go to a Mo Yang's account and log in and stuff like that. But as you can see on here, now I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not really a Minecraft player, but it certainly moves around pretty fast. And again, everything's going on in the background as well. Uh, so Windows 10 actually manages this multitasking very well, doesn't it? Oh, underwater. I don't know if I can, uh, that might be dangerous. Right, well that's about all I can say on Minecraft. Um, oh, I suppose I could mine some things, whatever this is. Bamboo, is it? Oh, and you might be interested what settings this is on. Let's go down a bit. I realize I'm mining with my bare hands or a block of mud. Right, oh, what was coming in? Right, so let's go back to settings, and oh, I seem to remember this was on quite high settings, and it and it defaulted to this. So video, yeah, so what have we got? Uh, you bombing. Fancy graphics is on. Fancy these, render clouds, beautiful skies. Uh, so make of that what you will if you play a lot of Minecraft, but um, yeah, certainly not laggy at all. And again, this is running all these things in the background. So let's switch into Photoshop and let's open another image. Uh, let's go with one of these. Open. Let's, boom, 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 boom. let's make it look a bit more vibrant. See straight away that that levels always does a really good job. I mean that, that looks much better than it does. Did uh, now I probably don't need to do any more to that. But let's say we want to get rid of this sign or that post. Now let's get rid of this sign. Do do do. Edit and fill. And I really quite like this program. Did come in handy. Yep, it's gone. Right, deselect. And oh, it's done something a little bit funny to the tree, but again, it's to think the very little um, that you have to do to to very to quickly remove something like that. Uh, and that's a very fussy background. There's an awful lot going on in there. Right, so we've got two images in Photoshop being edited. We've got the Edge browser open. We've got PowerPoint open. Uh, I don't remember closing Word, maybe I did. Let's get Word up. Uh, and then let's go back in. So, what can we put on here? Let's try. So CNET is quite a, you, you can look at this on an older mobile phone or an older device, there's loads of images and it really, lots of them struggle. Obviously it's gonna take some time to load up because of the internet, but yeah, that's fine. Let's get a few tabs open. Uh, so, 
I always do BBC. <laughs> Sorry about the camera. Uh, so BBC, click down there, and what else can we have? Let's go with Apple, because that's also quite a, a rich website in images and things like that. And let's go with YouTube as well. I never say please subscribe to my videos, but if you like any of this content, please do subscribe. Uh, right, YouTube. Let's go with. Gotta be so careful. So you are the band of those family. I should really go for one of mine, shouldn't I? Let's go. This is not the way I increase my views. Uh, so we're playing YouTube. Hey guys, I'm Carly Kloss, and I just got to watch the advert. So obviously, I get revenue from that. Uh, so back to Photoshop. Back to Minecraft. Drag and drop anything into place. Change the text to make it yours. And show who you are by adding your own images. Something was something was managed then, wasn't it? Because it went all blue in the background. Let's go to the beach. You can easily play and move things around whenever you want. Let's change this volume down because I don't know if I'm uh, if that will be picked up by copyright or not. My video will be removed. Right. Yeah, so Minecraft's still working fine. Uh, I don't know why I've got the Xbox app running. Uh, oh, I usually do the Windows Store as well. So there is Minecraft like 2249, but I bought it, oh, I don't know what I bought it for, um, for the kids a while ago. So that's pretty good that they've done that. Uh, yeah, this is running. I mean, this is impressive I, mean, I hope you're impressed as well that you know for this sort of price 350 pounds we're running Photoshop and I'm getting it to, sh to use raw images uh, and doing content aware removal which is doing well I've got lots of things running in the background so yeah it's it's very hard to pick fault obviously uh, well I've done a video as well uh, running you can see here the Novo 320s uh, running on a Pentium 4 gig laptop um, this is the Battle Royale game, which is a free game, uh, and I've got another video of how to get it for free. I mean, it is free anyway, but sometimes people uh, struggle to get it, um, to find where to get it from. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there because I'm rambling on a bit now, aren't I? Uh, but I d it's amazing how much is running, and let's, uh, let's try and insert a raw image into this desktop. Raw. Let's go for one of my. Oh, does it not like raw images? Oh, maybe it doesn't like raw images. In I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't be using raw images in PowerPoint anyway. So let's go for a JPEG. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't let you use raw. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Uh, but again, it's still not it's still not doing bad, is it? It's still not slowing down. Um, back to Minecraft. Oh, uh, and then uh, sorry, I just hit the camera again. Uh, I'm so professional. Uh, back to Photoshop. File, open. If you're still here, thanks for watching. And uh, sorry, I rambled a bit, but um, I hope it shows just how good. This sort of spec can be. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.